Hi, low everyone. This is Highlander from MTG Highsmith doing another custom Magic the Gathering card review. And today we're reviewing a card by Fire of Golden. This is another Planeswalker, uh, who is a little pencil drawing. And here we have Winkman. Winkman. Winkman sounds like the guy at your, your office that like nobody likes. It's like, shut up, Winkman. You know, he's the guy that's like, uh, that's what your mom said. And everybody's like, shut up, Wankman. You know, but this Wankman is a master wizard. Um, another six mana planeswalker, four loyalty. Uh, whenever an illusion enters the battlefield under your control, put a loyalty counter on Wankman. Okay. Uh, minus one, scry one for each illusion you control, then draw that many, I assume you mean cards? Then draw that many cards? Um, it doesn't specify. But really the only thing you can draw is cards or pictures, I guess. Scry one for each illusion you control, then draw a picture for each illusion you control. Uh, minus X. Instant sorcery and illusion spells you control cost X less to cast until end of turn. Um, okay, so I'm definitely seeing a pattern with these planeswalkers. They all have a minus one and a minus X, uh, but they're the the power level is kind of all over the place for these abilities for the for the costs, right? Okay, so here. Uh, this effect is quite strong. Whenever an illusion enters the battlefield under control, put a loyalty counter on him. And so this is effectively a zero now. So you, oh no, 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 it's, sorry, sorry. I lied, it doesn't create an illusion. Um, but minus one to scry one and draw for every illusion you control, that, that could get super crazy. Um, so if you have one illusion, minus one, scry one, draw is, I mean, it's, it's not like amazing, but it's like, it's good. Um, but as soon as you have two illusions, scry two, draw two for minus one, that's busted. As soon as you get to two illusions, this is too good. Uh, and of course, going beyond that is is even worse. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that uh, effect there. I mean, it's just just way too strong. Uh, minus X, instant sorcery and illusion spells cost X less to cast until end of turn. Um, okay. Um, so that effect essentially just lets you like dump your hand, more or less. So like if you play this guy and you minus three him, every instant sorcery and illusion in your hand costs three less. So essentially, you're only limited by the colored mana symbols at that point. So you could like minus three, play this guy, minus three him, dump like three illusions into play and he goes right back up to four loyalty. Um, and then next turn you scry one and draw a card for every, for three illusions. Scry three, draw three. That's nuts. That is nutso. Nuts and nuts, 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 nuts. So many nuts. This guy is certainly a master wizard. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I think this card is, is, is just way too strong. Um, I get that he likes illusions, but you know, here, here's maybe something you could, I, I could suggest for this ability is, um, maybe make it like, um, scry two period. Then if you control an illusion, draw a card, something like that. I mean, that's already quite strong. Scry, scry two, draw a card is, is preordain i mean that's really good uh for minus one even even that might be a little a little too good um but at least it's conditional uh okay and then this one again just sort of lets you like dump your dump your hand out i mean that's that's also just very very strong And it's not even it's not even the ones in your hand. It's anything. So if you if you're just like playing like cards that cantrip, you could just like pew, 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 like just play a whole bunch of spells in one turn, and you're not even losing your planeswalker. Your minus you know for minus three. I mean that'll make almost every card uh, in your hand 
um, cost only colored mana and none, none of the generic the generic mana. So uh, you could really build a, a nasty deck around this card. And I mean, this one bothers me a little bit less, but it's still very strong. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not so so sure about this one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how many suggestions I have for how to modify that, um, especially since you made it at minus X. I mean. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know about this one, man. This this one's just a little bit too strong. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just like the other ones, I, I have to give this one a... Let's see. So at least this one, like, kind of synergizes with itself, right? Like... Illusions entering the battlefield gives him loyalty counters. His minus X lets you just dump illusions into play, get his loyalty up, and then his minus one rewards you for having illusions, right? So I do like that he... I, I like that his abilities all sort of synergize with, with each other. I think that's pretty neat. But I think the effect here is just, is just incredibly strong. So... Um, yeah, I'll give this guy a 5 out of 10. I think he could use a little bit of rebalancing. Um, but, uh, again, I think the general idea here is neat. Um, this this uh, like Instant Sorcerer and Illusion spell, this could potentially be his, his passive, except, yeah, this could potentially be his passive, where you just say Instant Sorcerer and Illusion spells cost one less to cast, or you control cost one less to cast, right? Instead of this effect. And then you know, make that adjustment to this, like I mentioned. Um, and if you make this adjustment, you could potentially even make this a zero or a plus. And then maybe his minus X could be like, create an XX illusion creature token or something like that. Um, you know, uh, something, something, something like that. So anyway, um, or, or how about this? So, if this if this if this is passive, you can make the minus X like look at the top X cards of your library. You may put an instant sorcery or illusion uh, spell from among them into your hand, um, and then you know he makes it cheaper to to cast that card. Something like that could could be neat. And then at that point, you would probably change this ability to something else because you know that in that case, both of your your abilities draw cards. So. But anyway, there's just some random ideas. Um, I think as he stands right now, Winkman is a little, little bit too strong. Um, so I, I'd like to see some some adjustments to this guy. Um, and of course, this still has uh, formatting issues. So um, there's that as well. Okay, that is my uh, review of Winkman Master Wizard. Thank you for watching.